close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Any other thoughts that come into the mind, you don't have to pay them any attention. If you try to chase them away, they'll have captured you. So just let them go. You stay with the breath. Make up your mind you're going to stick with this all the way through the meditation session. And then do your best to follow through. We're coming to the beginning of the Rains Retreat every year. This is a time when people try to do something good, special. In other words, use the three months of the Rains Retreat as an opportunity to be more generous, be more virtuous, to meditate more. In other words, wherever you see that your own practice is lacking or could use some improvement, you take this as a chance. Make up your mind and make a vow that should be stricter, say, about the precepts, spend more time meditating. And make it a vow that stretches you, not stretching you to the point of breaking, but ask more of you than normal. Because after all, the goodness you do in a time like this is a memorial in your life. We think about the memorials they make for people in the past, and it's usually about things that are not really worth remembering. The things that are worth remembering are the good things that people have done. And if nobody else may be putting up a stone memorial to your life, but you can think of your own life, the goodness you've done, and that's your memorial, things you want to keep in mind from this lifetime. As aging comes, illness comes, as death comes, it's good to have memories of the good that you've done. And you want those memories to be impressive. So think of something to, that would be good to do this Rains Retreat that would impress you, and then follow through. This is going to require discernment figure out exactly where you're lacking. The Buddha says there are six areas where you can look at yourself, ask yourself, are you lacking in conviction? Are you lacking in virtue, generosity, learning? Could you spend more time reading or listening to the Dharma? Lacking in ingenuity, in other words, learning how to apply the Dharma in areas of your life where it's been lacking so far. And then finally, discernment, learning how to be more wise and choosing. What are the good things to do with good things to abandon. Look at yourself in these ways. The Buddha calls us having a sense of yourself. And when you have a sense of yourself, where your strengths and your weaknesses are, then you can use your strengths to overcome your weaknesses. And that way, the goodness you do for this range retreat becomes the kind of goodness that not only lasts for three months, but then can carry it through, if you choose wisely, if you choose well. But make sure you choose something that impresses you that will burn itself into your memory. Yes, I really did something specially good this year. And that was the beginning of a, a long series of good things that I did with the rest of my life. That's the kind of memorial you want to have. So that's the kind of memorial you should build. Every day, every day, make sure you do something special at this Ranger Retreat, something that impresses you and that it really was good. And that will be for your nourishment for a long time to come.